This video is specifically dedicated to cleaning inside the pancake machine after a major spill has occurred. In the event of a major spill, be sure to shut the machine off and allow it to cool down fully before cleaning. The bottom hot plate assembly and the crumb tray will need to be removed and cleaned thoroughly during this process. After taking off the belts, remove the bottom hot plate assembly by simply unscrewing the locator pins on the front of the hot plate assembly. Then, using both hands, slowly pull the hot plate assembly towards you and carefully position on a clean, dry surface. Taking a warm, damp cloth, thoroughly clean the entire inside cooking chamber of the machine, ensuring to remove any residual batter from the spill. To remove the roller drum from the hot plate, first loosen the white anti-roller before sliding the axle rod up and out from the center of the roller drum. Next, position the tensioning lever from its operating position into its cleaning position slot, as shown here. Finally, remove the remaining roller drum from the hot plate assembly by following the same procedure shown moments ago. Under hot running water, clean the belts thoroughly to remove any uncooked batter from the belt's surface. Similarly, run the crumb tray, including the silicon wiper, under hot running water to remove the spilled batter. The hot plates and roller drums should be cleaned with a warm damp cloth only, taking particular care not to scratch the surface of the hot plate. Once the hot plates and rollers have been thoroughly cleaned, reassemble the hot plate and insert back into the machine, fastening the locator pins tightly to secure its position. When replacing the crumb tray, it's very important to make sure it sits in place correctly. Otherwise, this may interfere with the operation of the belt sensor. The lip of the crumb tray should sit firmly over the side of the machine, securing its position. Now you and your customers are again ready for those perfectly cooked pancakes, time and time again.